welcome back. You are watching the last news bulletin from Kazakhstan. I'm Marina Kim and these are the latest. Members of Kazakh parliament intend to change the constitution to legitimize the referendum on the extension of Nur Sultan Nazarbayev's term in office by another 10 years. Political bloc Naroda Vlastia plans to involve the population of the country in the discussion on the protection of constitution. Prominent Kazakh lawyer Sergei Utkin wins his case against the tax inspection. All tax evasion charges are dropped. Kazakh MPs intend to change the constitution of the country once again. On Wednesday, parliamentarians unanimously approved the bill on the extension of the presidential term until 2020. The MPs intend to rewrite the constitution. The new appeals were made on Wednesday in the parliament and immediately supported by the session participants. MPs unanimously approved the amendments to the constitutional law, providing the extension of president's term to 2020. The proposal of the speaker who proposed the very initiative was adopted by MPs in a half an hour. All this time the MPs spent on listing the achievements of the head of state, including his presidential duties. Sometimes he had to sign up to 130 decrees a year, the closing of the Semipalatinsk nuclear test site, the creation of the Institute of Assembly of Nations of Kazakhstan, the sensational transfer of the capital to Astana, the creation of the National Fund for the Benefit of Future Generations. These are the initiatives of our head of state. The successful realization of long-term program 2030, the programs of rapid industrialization and innovation developments with the opportunity of achieving real results, considering the historical role and mission of the Kazakh president, leader of nation, Nursultan Nazarbayev. Reading from paper, MPs persuaded each other in the necessity to approve amendments to the constitution as someone opposed the idea. In the burst of loyalty, several MPs again proposed to constitutionally re-secure the status of the leader of nation for Nur Sultan Nazarbayev. The same proposals were made from both chambers of parliament. I, as a lawyer and sincere supporter of the head of state, propose to include the word El Basse to the constitution and simultaneously with the referendum raise the issue over the introduction of amendments to the constitution and to the meaning of El Basse in order to avoid discrepancies between the constitution and laws. It is yet unknown whether Nur Sultan Nazarbayev will accept the idea, however, the referendum over the extension of his term will take place. The approved by the lower chamber bill was sent to the Senate. After the ratification of the bill by the Senate, which raises no doubts, the document will be sent to the president for signing. Political bloc Narada Vlasti, the democracy, proposes to ask the population of the country another question. At a press conference in Almaty, public activists said they have to protect the constitution, which can end up rewritten yet again. Despite the New Year rush, politicians, public activists and artists found time to gather together and discuss the proposal of a semi-erected to hold a referendum on the extension of presidential term. The talk was quite stern. For instance, Director Bulat Atabayev said that administration went too far and Kazakh people are no sheep that can be corralled with a long staff. There is an ancient Greek word agitos, which later led to the creation of the concepts like campaigning and propaganda. In reality, agitos was a long staff used by shepherds to direct sheep. The current campaign is also agitos involving newspapers, TV channels and public places. In his speech, Vladimir Kozlov, a potential presidential candidate during the 2012 elections, cited the president's advisor Yermuhamed Yirtizbaev and showed that the position of the head of state, the guarantor of the constitution, changed substantially in just several months. Kozlov believes the planned referendum is in no way the highest expression of the popular will. It is rather the expression of the will of few people at the top. The referendum deprives people of the ability to witness the competition of ideas and proposals for 10 years. Let's not deceive ourselves saying that we still have parliamentary elections while there is a complete presidential rule. Parliamentary elections with the president who stays in the office for 20 years will be the same old predetermined voting. Gaziz Aldamjarov, the chairman of the Kazakhstan's Communist Party, is puzzled the most by statements of governmental toadies who say there is no worthy candidate for the president's post apart from the leader of the nation. Aldamjarov can name at least 10 people who have enough experience, knowledge and respect to fight for the office 
in a competitive race. In a way, this insults me as a citizen of this country populated by 15 million people. It is degradable when they say there is no one else but one man who can work. So 10 million Kazakhs and 5 million Russians cannot produce just one person who can work just as good, if not better. Prominent public activist and Nazarbayev's opponent during past presidential elections, Sirik Balsin Abdildin, feels the referendum idea was dictated by the authorities who are afraid of losing all of their resources, stinks and levers for ruling the state and are now afraid of facing the responsibility. The key factor is the ownership. He has usurped the entire political power and doesn't want to give it up. He appropriated all the wealth of Kazakhstan. How can he give it up if the world community knows about his crimes? Take Kazakh Gate, for instance. In the end, the gathered announced the creation of a common single bloc, which will be joined by all those disagreeing with the idea of a referendum next year. The further action plan is vague at the moment. In the remaining two days of 2010, activists ask citizens willing to speak up to send anti-referendum messages to mobile phones of the MPs, politicians and any high-ranking officials. The initiative group for the collection of signatures required to launch the referendum has almost reached the necessary amount. The head initiator says that in just a couple of days the group collected 187,000 signatures across all regions of the country. More than one million signatures in support of the president can be guaranteed. At a special council in Astana, leaders of regional trade unions said that the population is ready to sign the initiative. The chairman of the Trade Unions Federation even asked the gathered to sign the questionnaires right there on the spot. Dear comrades and colleagues, it is important to support the idea of the referendum, but not everyone understands it. We have to realize that trade unions take the responsibility to build the future of our country. In the meantime, the opposition speaks about the pressure from the authorities. According to the leader of communists from the capital, local superintendents were ordered to collect signatures of all tenants in less than a day. Superintendents are forced to take these questionnaires in the evening and told to return them filled in the morning. Of course, if the administration is using resources like these, we cannot keep up. If only one night is given to condominium heads, we can only imagine what is going on in the healthcare and education institutions. The situation is similar in all state organizations of the capital, says Toti Yelubayeva. In one of the Almaty service centers, questionnaires appeared even before the announcement of the Central Elections Commission's decision. Where can I go? The president's administration is everywhere. It can hear everything. I didn't argue, just said poor Kazakh nation that cannot birth a son apart from Nazarbayev who can lead the people. The opponents of the authorities intend to hold mass protest actions across the entire country, trying to protect the constitution. While the opposition is building plans, the initiative group reports that it collected already 187,000 signatures in support of the eternal leader of the nation. According to the law, we need at least 200,000 signatures. However, our rates are very high and we will beat the forecasted numbers. We managed to feed in just two days and on Thursday I will announce the numbers. The initiative group will go on with their political campaign collecting signatures even during the holidays. Now the goal is not the required 200,000 but 2 million supporting votes. In addition, activists say they sent a letter to the president asking him to officially agree with the referendum idea. Activists of the anarchic movement of SHIP, Nuratar, a play in the name of the ruling party Nuratan, campaigned to bring the referendum idea to its logical absurd conclusion. Movement members proposed to make the 70-year-old Nazarbayev a president for life. Glory to the great, the mighty Han. The youth monarchic movement, Nuratan, represented by two activists, praised the nation's leader next to the Almaty office of the ruling party. The action was dedicated to the upcoming referendum. The movement of sheep created three years ago has reacted in the past to the laws on the leader of nation and amendments allowing the first president to run for the office indefinitely. On Wednesday, Nuratan dropped to its knees, asking to extend the presidential term not until 2020, as asked by the initiative group, but for life. People on the streets seemed to like the performances. They should continue working for another 10 years. Tell us you believe Nuratan is great. Tell us Nazarbayev should rule forever. 
Yes, he should rule forever. Good, you should join Nuratar. I can do that. Excellent, now you too can be a loyal sheep. No, I don't want to be a sheep. Nuratar pulled all the stops, proposing to rename Kazakh Republic into a Hanate, repeal the constitution and hold the nurization of the whole country. Activists said it is a pity there were just two of them. There are just two of us because the rest of our sheep are visiting schools, hospitals and other state organizations campaigning for teachers, students and doctors to sign the petition. We're too lazy, so we came here to express our gratitude to Nuratan. No one except for Nuratan's security attempted to oust the Boeing activists. Passerby smiled at the sight, took pictures and continued on their chores. Nuratan members sadly admitted that kneeling is now rather the norm in the country of the eternal president. A well-known Kazakh prophetess, Bahid Jumanova, predicted on Wednesday that Nursultan Nazarbayev will rule the country for another 18 years. The winner of the Russian TV show The Battle of Psychics says that during the upcoming referendum the current head of state will receive an absolute support of the nation, while the transition of power will come no sooner than in 18 years. According to the psychic, the next president of Kazakhstan will be born in 2012. Well, I don't see the transition of power. He will stay for another 17 or 18 years in power for the benefit of his relatives and people. Lawyer Sergei Utkin won his case against the tax department. All charges of evading taxes for the amount of $34,000 were dropped on Wednesday at the decision of the economic court judge Gulbarshin Prembetova. The verdict was met with applause. The court has satisfied the declaration of Sergei Utkin to the tax department accompanied by applause. Now he doesn't have to pay $34,000 to the state in Texas. No one expected such a decision from the judge Gulbarshin Primbetova. The court has satisfied the petition of individual entrepreneur Utkin and recognized the legal and rejected the notification over the results of the tax inspection number 170 dated back to July 23, 2010. The dangerous precedent in judicial practice was avoided. Many lawyers work as individual entrepreneurs on simplified tax schemes, and if the court would accept the unjust decision, it might provoke a wave of petitions from fiscal bodies. It is probable that the public campaign and support of Utkin has influenced the decision. The activists have uploaded the social reel on internet and distributed leaflets in support of the lawyer on Almaty streets. As a result, the courtroom was overcrowded as colleagues, friends and clients of Sergei Utkin came to support him. Of course, the public opinion has influenced the decision. At least the judge Primbetova made a just decision. Still, I believe that our judicial system is absolutely dependent and make their decisions over important issues based on the orders from top. Utkin is confident that the decision of the judge was also influenced by the scientific substantiation made by the leading Kazakh scientists in taxation law field. Lawyers were able to prove that the claims of fiscals were unjustified and lay beyond the legal boundaries. The extraordinary and plenipotentiary ambassador of the USA, Richard Holland, has completed his mission in Kazakhstan. On Wednesday, the diplomat met with the Senate chairman, Kasim Jamar Takayev, who noted the important role the American party played in the success of the recent OAC summit in Astana. It doesn't say what caused the dismissal of Holland, but interestingly, his name was mentioned in the cables published by WikiLeaks. The internet resource quoted the correspondence of the ambassador with the former vice president of Kazmonagas, Maksat Idenov, in which the son-in-law of the president, Timur Kulibayev, was allegedly caught in corruption cases. The cables indirectly confirmed earlier publicized reports under disgraced banker Mukhtar Ablyazov, which revealed that Kulibayev received large bribes from Chinese companies for oil contracts. As a result, the ambassador, Richard Holland, himself, noted that the scandal with WikiLeaks is more criminal than diplomatic. The Almaty City Court dismissed the appeal of the Mortgage Committee Arman, whose leader Yermek Narimbayev currently serves his term in the settlement Solnishny. In late November, a district court ordered to disband the public union. Its founder filed an appeal which unfortunately produced no expected results. 
As was noted by the lawyer of the public association, the notification of the Awez of District Court was written carelessly with factual errors. For example, it has this wording, on the petition of the mortgage committee Arman, even though the plaintiff is a local prosecutor and not committee suing itself. Arman members see the shutdown of their association with the prosecution of dissent of their former leader Yermek Narimbaev. The organization was created several years ago to protect the interests of defrauded mortgage holders and real estate investors. The appeals committee ignored all the arguments. The complaint was rejected immediately. Narambayev, the member of this organization, back in January, allegedly violated the law and affected the integrity and security of the country. I think that it is illegal as we see the persecution of a particular individual and they appeal to the special economic court for the shutdown of their organization while they must first stop the operation of the association for up to six months, but they are eliminating the public union altogether. Winter fun in eastern Kazakhstan. Residents of ust Kaminogorsk are treated to various light-hearted competitions like Zhigit shows, girls in felt boots dashes and sled races. <laughs> Despite of severe frost of minus 30 degrees Celsius and strong wind when even classes at schools were cancelled, more than 20 people risked to participate in the contests. While students were competing in speed and strength, pupils were making and painting a huge snow cake. This is not the last creative event from the authorities on the eve of the new year, who also promise a laser show. Moreover, Ust-Kaminogorsk is being beautified with ice sculptures. This year, ust is greeting the year 2011 practically in Ice Kingdom. More than 20 ice sculptures were sponsored by businessmen. This is it, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of the entire English department, I want to thank you for watching our bulletins last year. Starting January 1st, the news in English will go on in indefinite hiatus. For now, though, we wish you all the best in the new year. Don't change the channel. Goodbye.